Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about HTML paragraphs. HTML paragraphs are used to create paragraphs. Paragraphs are the same paragraphs as we have in simple like language, like English. So, uh, but we do have a specific element that, that has this job of creating paragraphs. So when you have content, so you have titles, you use H1 all the way to H6, depending on what it is that you're trying to do, what kind of title you want, what, what is the size. But what if you want to provide more information about something? Then you need to provide that inside a paragraph element, not inside an h1 h1 just holds the title you can provide it but then the, your code will look amateurish your code will will have a lot of very bad practices so the best practice is to use these semantic elements in the way they're meant to be used so let's say you have an h1 that is about animals and you want to provide some uh, paragraphs as well now let's say you are in inside like inside this uh, element I'm gonna zoom in and you want to go to the next line if you had enter you will just you will have just like broken down that element into two lines but the way that you can jump into the next line doesn't matter where you are in that line is hold control and then press enter and then you will be you will jump into the next line i will do these shortcuts a lot in html and css so i'm just trying to warm you up so what is the paragraph par uh, paragraph element name just p hit p and then enter there we go again we have a, an opening tag and an ending tag within the opening and ending we can provide our content so i'm going to say this is my first paragraph 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 when you when you save it you're gonna see animals this is my very first paragraph so you can see that the title is bigger and bolder um, but the paragraph is uh, in smaller in size and it is not bold at all now uh, oftentimes um, whenever you're working uh, on a website for personal uh, as a personal project you don't have like the time to go ahead and write 10 sentences out of uh, like off the top of your head like this is my first paragraph and I want to write something and I don't know what I'm going to write in I just need some content so I can get started with my website so in that case there is a trick that you can use to create gen or to generate dummy content we did have we do have something like this in Microsoft Word where there is a sentence uh, that uh, contains all the English letters. I have actually forgot what the name of that sentence is. It is the uh, quick, uh, uh, the quick uh, fox jumps over the lazy dog. I think it's like this, or it is the quick. Uh, no, it is the quick dog jumps over the lazy fox. Something like that. So uh, you can create uh, dummy content as well. And for that, you're just going to write lower him and you just hit enter there you go it just created a paragraph for you and then when you save it you're going to see that dummy content you can specify the number of uh, sentences that you want in that content not the number of words the number of uh, not the number of sentences but the number of words so let's say you want to have 100 words in a paragraph and you want to generate it with a simple line so you're going to create the paragraph element and then you're going to say lower them. how many words 100 words when you hit 100 words when you hit enter you're going to end up with 100 words when you save it you're going to see that and that sentence is i think the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog that's something that we do have uh dummy content in microsoft word as well i learned that when i was studying my office 2003 so 2003 that's when i started learning office so microsoft office software <laughs> very long time ago. Now, uh, this is it for this lecture. See you in the next one.